side. Hello everyone, I'm Fiji Kitaku here back and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legends of the Queen of Time! Quickest intro ever! Well, not that with the intro, but ever. In the last episode we did saw... well... Apparently Link got... Uh, gained puberty and now he's a man! And... well, just a late teenager. And then... We did also some side quests, plus some more of the plot. And also we got a awesome new item, the hook shots. I mean, this item is pretty cool. Yeah, but let's see. I better use have a miniature kiku. I call it the pocket kiku. I don't get goosebumps from this, baby. Kikus are very good at getting lazy late rises out of bed. Haven't you heard them before? Obviously. It makes a very happy to crow. Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. I think we know who that sleeper might be. Hint, hint. <laughs> However, my kiku is not entirely happy right now. You. You look like you're good at handling kikus. Here, take this egg. After the kiku hatches, bring it back to me after a while. And I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Yeah. We'll do this side quest. It's a trading side quest, so get prepared for a lot of skipping and cutting and stuff. You bought a pocket egg. A pocket kiku will hatch from it overnight. Be sure to give it back when you are done with it. Hell yeah. And we're gonna skip. There we go. And now it should hatch, hopefully. There we go. Look at chicken hatch from the egg you're incubating. It's a miracle of life. You've seen that message before. Um, so... Let's see. Now... Um, you might have noticed that well there. Um, we're gonna get to that later. Uh, a fair bit later. After the next temple. But yeah, there's a way down, but it's... It's blocked. And you, ca uh, you can tell it makes the normal... Um, wall noise, so you can't blow it up, sadly. When I was younger, I thought you could blow it up somehow. But I had no idea how to do, but... Yeah. Now... We... Have to go to this house, I'm pretty sure, to my right. Am I right? Am I right? No, I'm kidding. Uh, but... In here... Does that smell like sound familiar? What does this woman have to say? Oh my god, your face! All people have hardships in their past that they would rather no one find about. Look at the bearded man slipping over there. I bet even someone like him has had his shares of trouble in the past. Look at him, the man with the beard. I think he was fired from his job at the ranch. He's always just lazy by morning, noon, and night. He's an awfully carefree guy during such hard times. And I think we know who that might be. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Speak. Man, I'm doing all right. Sorry to make you worry. But we're going to actually wake him from his sleep and by making this cuckoo happy as well. So you guys will let us know. What a donation! Get a person, get a little shot uh, around here. Did you save Marlin? Thanks, I'm going back to the ranch there. Yeehaw! But, yeah, and uh, I don't think he actually goes there until much later. Although, uh, maybe he does. Uh, let me actually exit the room and go back in. Yeah, he's gone, okay. So he goes back to the ranch automatically. But now we're actually going to go to that um, woman that I can never remember. Huh! I saw something. Uh, it's actually kind of cool. The text is actually going off the thing. I think that might be a glitch. Because uh, it's not supposed to have a paragraph there. Or whatever. A second paragraph. But anyways, we are going to talk to that woman. <coughs> ah. Back here. That gave us the pocket cocoon. And there's this old man, wizard Gandalf guy here. I like to call him Gandalf. One second. A long time ago, there was a man in this very village who had an eye they said could see the truth. Now usually, you have to train your mind's eye most strenuously to actually see the truth. But this fellow, no. They say he had a different way of doing things. He now stood where the well is now. Well, we're gonna get to that later, but thanks for the advice, Gandalf. No problem! I was kidding. <laughs> 
Please make me make Kukui happy, okay? Well, I already made it happy, so let's show it to you. Aha! Oh, your Kukui looks pretty happy. You must have awakened an extremely lazy guy. You're a good Kukui keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable Kukui if you're interested. His name is Kohiro. Kohiro! Well, if you're just gonna give it to me, then hell yeah. Its name is Kohiro, and it used to be my brother's Kuko. It's blue body, it's quite charming, it's so cute. Yeah, I'll keep Kohiro. You return the pocket Kuko and got Kohiro in return. Unlike other Kukos, Kohiro rarely crows. Kohiro! And it used to be my brother's Koku. It's blue body, it's quite charming, it's so cute. Since my brother is gone, it's strange that Kohiro has stopped crowing. Do you want to keep Kohiro? Yeah. So we get a Kohiro that apparently has no a chicken that apparently is blue and has no eyes apparently according to everything. But yeah, now as, I should mention as soon as you get near that guy, that uh, this old man, this old man will start walking back and forth and back and forth. Uh, yeah, you get the picture. <laughs> I'm not gonna bore you to death with saying back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and ten years later back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That's anyways. Now we are actually going to go to the Lost Woods. And we actually have to normally go to the uh no uh to go on with the plot, but this episode is just gonna be devoted to doing a certain side quest and can I get on to you? Thank you. That's waiting for you to stop. <laughs> but now we are going to go back to the Kokiri Forest, but there is something that's... Uh -huh. But yeah. That, this wasn't that Kaku, I don't think, but that was kind of random. That, but anyways, we're going to see something wrong here. Oh my god, there's huge it, mutated Deku Babas. What's this? No, big Deku Baba. He when he lunges at you to set up a color quickly to get a Deku stick. Okay, that's just the same. Ha! And they actually die. And they actually give three Deku dust this time instead of one. You can actually also now you, you might have noticed use the Harleyan shield as the Deku shield and pr uh, propel back bullets from these guys. Or Deku nuts. But, uh. Let's just have a bit of nostalgic time, shall we? That. I'm not letting you get rid of my nostalgic time. Thank you. We get a Deku stick that we cannot use because. The great out items we cannot use. So we can't use Deku sticks, we can't use Link Shots, we can't use Boomerangs. And we can't use the Mask of Truth because apparently Link is now too old for that. But. Anyways, we are going to go up here. Up, oh, if I can. Up here. Into the Lost Woods. And there's one of those mad scrubs here. Because that's actually what they're called. If you get closer, it'll hide the grass. Ha! But yeah, now... Uh, we are going to go into here, I guess. Back in here. And there's another Kukui. I have a feeling it might be the Kohiro because, yeah, this guy here, if you remember him, he's that guy that thinks life has no meaning and everyone's weird. No response, he's sleeping. Let's actually go here. What the hell is he saying? Kohiro, why? Only a, no, only, normally only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means you. You must be a nice guy! Must be! You must be! Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please! Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village! This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry! I like how it's praise of the Lord! Yeah, okay. Um, but we got an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko potion shop quickly. This is why we got the horse. It's for this. The, the marathon, like, the, the uh, timer. It, time limit thing. Getting stuff wrong. But whatever. So now we are going to do this because we can. 
And if it's a if it's a timer above one minute, then it'll count. If it'll make a beep sound every ten seconds. Or so. Yeah, you just got here. But we just went through the opponent apparently. But come on, let me get onto you. Thank you. We don't have time to lose because because I said so. But also because we actually don't. And come on, go. Thank you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm going to be able to do it. Yeah. Well, if I do that, then you'll be a constant speed. So, yeah. Down. And at least we can still speed. Fun. Okay, so now that old hag that he was talking about is actually, um, if you remember. When we got that first empty bottle from that uh, girl, that woman that sold, that gave us the pocket crew and now the co Kohiro, and now we gave that Kohiro to the, um, what is it, the guy, the homeless guy in the lost woods. We are now going to take that um, mushroom over here. So, so basically... What we need to do, if I can actually do it. Whoa! Oh my god, glitchiness. Yeah. Now every two seconds it's beeping, so it's I have a limited amount of time left. So I need to do this quickly. So just let me do this, please. Oh, come on! I bet I'm not even going to be able to do this. I think I actually have to, like, in fact, no, I'm not even going to. Um, I'm probably going to have to, like, restart the timer, uh, I'd say, but, so, let me actually try just from here. Oh, God. Get out of the way, camera angle. I have very limited time, oh, my God. Oh, got it. Got to get into here very quickly. I have very limited time. And talk to this woman here. Or actually, show her this. Oh, come on. Quickly. There we go. Got it. That, that bum. He had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Yeah. And now the lights go out. And go back on again. Thank you. If you see that fool, give it to him. It's the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. You received an odd potion. It may be useful for something. Hurry to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. But yeah, thank goodness this doesn't have a time limit. Because I was like, really? I want to use my seat there. Because, oh my god. In fact, actually, can I now go... In fact, can I actually go into here, into this house here? I wonder. I wonder. Actually. Um, can I... Medicine shop, close all morning. That old hag shop is the real medicine shop, okay? No, I'm just kidding. But it actually kind of is, because eventually she'll give you a certain type of potion that is pretty cool. Also, before I go on with this side quest, you remember how I said that it's um, the, the ca uh, castle town that's gone all here? Well, there's that couple dancing here, still at night. Seriously, you're supposed to go to bed here. Heh. <laughs> annoying person interrupting us like this, don't you agree? No, you're the annoying people around here. Violating what? Violating our personal space. <laughs> okay, I have to admit that was pretty funny, but whatever. Um, so now, here it is. Ring of Re the Ring of Death Mountain up there. The Ring of Red Light. Ring of Death from like Xbox 360, whatever. But we are going to go back to the Lost Woods again. Yay. And this might be a longer episode, I'm not sure, because this can be kind of an annoying 
thing, annoying side quest to do because, yeah. Sorry about that buzzing, that was just me hitting the metal on the goose neck of the microphone that I have. Because I just have a headset microphone, so it's not. <coughs> I like how I was just about to start playing the Kokiri Forest theme, and then it just instantly goes to the battle theme. I'm just gonna ignore you for now. But we are going to actually go into here. At least it still plays the peaceful music of of Kokiri Forest. The Kokiri Forest! No, I'm kidding, Forest. But. You know that guy, that scrub. And we shall see if that guy is still there. No, he isn't. Damn, you're really small. <laughs> yeah, okay. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Oh, really? I haven't been lost yet. Everybody will become a selfless. Everybody, selfless. So he's not here anymore. Well, I'm gonna show you this. Show her this. I mean, that medicine is made of forest mushrooms. Give it back. Yeah. Seriously, why is that girl just randomly picking up stuff? And she found a she. She just found the poacher's saw, like just uh, from the young punk guy that apparently became a selfless. <laughs> Are you going to be too? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. And now we are actually going to go to Gerudo Valley. Of all places. For this. So we're gonna hear the awesome music again. Awesome! Climb. And go over here. I wish it would turn the horse faster, but tell them. This would be less. I, I, I wish it was more realistic to turn the horse faster. <laughs> but yeah, at least the Pihats aren't there to annoy us. Yeah, you can jump over those fences with ease now, at least. That's pretty cool. So we've got here, and we are going to go over here, and we know we have to do it now. See how much easier it is with the horse? And also, you actually require the horse to uh, do this, because uh, uh, if you think, if you're thinking that it's possible to just um, do it, uh, if you were to run like sideways or backwards, or whatever. Yeah, you can't do it without the horse because you need this. You need to jump across. Like a boss. Jump across like a boss. Jump across like a boss. Okay, wait. But there's this carpenter guy here again. I am a master craftsman. Don't get out of these. They broke the bridge. I got to fix it, but all my workers are gone. They said working as carpenters isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo's fortress to become thieves. Hey you! If you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? Well, not yet, but in the moment, in time, time will tell, so we're gonna show you that. Hey, that sword is mine! But I thought I left that sword with my old lady. Oh well. My bigger on too broke, so it's gonna go to Gordon City to repair it. But anyways, good kid, thanks. I'm sorry I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyways. You traded the poacher store for the broken bigger one, so visit bigger one to get it repaired. And if you want to go bigger on is, well, we'll just get to that in a moment. What does Navi have to say? I wonder what Sari, what's going on first? I'm worried about Sari too. What's Sari going to say? Listen. Yeah, Link, this is Sari, can you hear me? Great, you're safe. I knew I would hear from you again. I'm in the forest temple. 
<gasps> no one's kidding. The forest spirits were calling for help, so I went to check it out. But it's full of evil monsters. Help me, Link! Do I just talk to Sari again? No! There you go, there's no reason for doing that, but... Yeah. Sally, even as an adult, we can't actually... Uh, actually, we can't pick up those rocks anyways. It's only the grey rocks we can pick up, but we can't pick those up yet. Oh, no, 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 no
Yeah, we can see a big bump there. I'm gonna go here. Oh my god, it's a huge gone! What happened? He has his eyes shut. <laughs> okay. My brother opened a new store. It's Mary Goron's blade store. However, I am better at making blades, Creeper. Alien carpenters praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. Okay, so we shall show this to him. That broken knife is surely my work. I really want to repair it, but... But because of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are irritated. There are fine eye drops in Zora's domain. You'll find them if you go to see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. Yeah. What about that moon just pause in the background and the text on the thing is the paper is flashing because it's glitched. You check the in the broken console and receive the prescription. Go see King Zora. Now we don't have a time limit for this either, but what we are going to do is we are going to Ow. We're going to Ow, yeah. And we're gonna have a lot of lag again, oh my god. And I can still hear a huge score on complaining. God, I love that, that sound. Like, ooh. Ooh. It was like the old Steve getting hurt sound from Minecraft. It was like, ooh. It's like that. Oh, crap. Can I go faster than you? Yeah. Ha ha. Oh damn it, it doesn't even matter because that sign was just. I just went through the boulder. Like a mouse. <laughs> but we, I should have actually gone to the top and then uh, gone into uh, Goron City and then gone to this Lost Woods so that would be easier, but who cares? Like, seriously, who cares? Besides, uh, doing this will mean that I could actually. Like, yeah. You know. Hopefully. But what I am going to do is go over, instead of going straight to Zora's Domain, I'm actually going to go to Lost Woods, because uh, then I can go to the, um, I'm going to go to Creepy Forest and Lost Woods, and then I'm going to go to Zora's Domain over there. The reason for that is because the next item we have to trade, this is the this item we have to trade in the prescription, the next item, uh, after that, we have a time limit. And if I went through the Zora's Domain, not the Zora's River area, um, then that'll take a while to get from one into the other. Whereas this, well, I'm just going to stop talking about it, so, yeah. Oh my god, the horse is really annoying at the time. Let's do that. Get down! Okay. Ha ha! Ha ha! <laughs> I just love doing that. Sadly, there's still no rupees in here, but whatever. So now we have to go to Lost Woods. Yeah. Actually, now we can actually teabag with the Harlan Shield. Teabag, teabag. In fact, what's it? Come on. Teabag, 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 teabag. Yeah, I love doing that. So now we can go over here. And there's Gorn City, but we're gonna skip by that for now. And then there's Mido there, but we're gonna ignore him for now. Because he's worthless. <laughs> and he's the the ungrate Mido. Yeah, I'll call him that, but who cares? I'm gonna go in there. And we are now in here. And now it's snowing! What the hell? Yeah, plot twists. Oh, okay. No, I'm not there. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah. 
I'm, I've recorded like five episodes in a row by now, but... Yeah! I should probably have lunch soon, because I haven't actually had lunch and it's already like... 2 o'clock, I don't know. Let me check my phone. Um... 2.15 actually, holy crap. Oh my god, what happened here? Has it, oh my god, has it really been that long? Has it really been seven years? Yeah, it has. Uh, but, yeah, it's frozen over. So, what's the chances of Zora's domain freezing over? Oh, uh, but, uh, like, hell. And actually, um, let me think. Uh, can we... Because I'm pretty sure... Uh, we require something else to do this. Actually, what we can do, uh, I need to go back. Oh my god, I need to go back to the Hyrule Castle Town. Uh, not Hyrule Castle Town, because that's popular with me then. So, oh my god. I need to go to Kakariko Village. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to take a shortcut in the Lost Woods. Just um, go to Goron City and then go to thing. So yeah, we're gonna go back down to Funky Town. Oh, Seija, whatever. But now it's really foggy for some reason. But actually, it's because of the fact that I was near there, but whatever. Anyways, this guy's gonna block it. Woody, though you wear coquettish clothing, you can't fool me. I promise, Sally, I will never let anybody go through here. Oh really? Well, I'm just gonna leave you to le leave you be. For in a future episode, and actually, I didn't even take the shortcut. Damn it! But wrong. yeah, that's actually the right way. Yeah, I think that's right. So over here, yep, and then through here. There we go. So now, uh. We now have to go to the Kakariko village. And there is a gold sculpture list somewhere, I can tell. Right there, in fact. We might have to get it later because I'm cut. I don't know if I can actually reach it. Uh, yeah, you can also get on top of the fences, so that's pretty cool. I wish I could shoot it into the wire there, the string to the rope to get it hooked on there. But what we are going to do is. Well, that's the way to that other gone place, which is worthless. Oh, crap, up there's. It's like, oh, crud, there's one of those gone coming up. Bye. I'm just going to ignore you. I'm not going that way. But what we are going to do is to get this gold sculpture now. Go over here. And a holy crap, yeah. Now, I need to. Oh, Parker, what's your thing? Damn it. Uh, now I need to grab that thing and go up here. That one thing. Oh, that. No good. Uh, so. We gotta go over here. What the hell? Actually, can I just push up to the top? What is the next level? Oh, yeah, yeah. Except for the fact there is no. Oh, come on! God, I'm feeling a parkour even. I'm not feeling a parkour in Minecraft, I'm feeling a parkour in Legend of Zelda. Obviously. Oh, crap. Yeah, you'll just go that way. Okay. So I actually can't go that way, I need to go up here. Whatever. So there's no way to exactly that's the same way. Anyways, anyways, let's try this again. Well, that was a much fail, I believe. But you notice there are basically no gorns around whatsoever except for that one random gorns rolling at any time that's right down there. Rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, rolling out, Ha ha! Yeah, you can see it kind of acts like the boomerang almost, except not really. But we are going to go back up here again, and then we because the reason we have to go to Hyrule Castle Town Mark, not Hyrule Castle Town Mark, oh my God. Kakariko Village. Ah, good right. I'm living in the past. Literally, but whatever. Um, but basically, um, is because that King Zor is frozen. Uh, because of all the snow, and um, the way to unfreeze him is by uh, getting something called blue fire, 
And there's two ways to do to go about doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, two ways to go about doing that. The one way is to basically um, uh, go to a certain mini dungeon that's com that's supposed to, that you need to go to uh, to complete the story. Um, to actually do the plot, it's called uh, Ice Cavern or whatever, and you get a certain item in there which is for defeating the Water Temple, in fact, which is the most annoying temple in this game. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm weird. Just take me for who I am. Uh, uh, but, anyways, uh, oh, glitchy staircase. Uh, I actually went the wrong way because I need to go back up here, and, and I'm pretty sure the shop sells this type of thing. Blue fire. Yup, it does. Welcome. I'm not sure if that's a guy with long hair or a thing. But blue fire, 300 rupees. I want to vapor. No, not really, because it's useful here. Let's buy it. And now I have 157 rupees left. Yay! No, I no, I do not want to buy it, the girls. Ha! Huh. But now I have a blue flame. Make sure not to use it accidentally, because yeah, it can be annoying. But we are going to go back to the um. The King Zora die. See you in a moment. Hawkeye, I'm back into the the Lost Woods. So now let's see this way, right here. Let's just go back like this because I'm a pro. Now Mido will disappear out of existence, and it'll go really foggy for some reason. Haha, uh, I'm going down to Funky Town. Oh, I'm gonna go cameras, spazzing out there, having a seizure. But, anyways, I did that wrong so much. There we are. I mean, my keyboard's not unresponsive, it's sometimes it's just that. Um, the game doesn't allow you to press really, really fast the buttons, so, yeah, that's kind of annoying, but whatever. So, back to the frozen, let's see, frozen Zora's Domain Wasteland thingy. But, anyways, go back up here. And there is the Pretty frozen over King Zora. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But yeah, also, the ice is slippery. No, I do not want to show the prescription yet because that's useless here. But what I will do is I shall go very near to him and then use the blue fire. There we go. Now I can actually get on top of here, but now he is back to life. Show the prescription. Ooh, this is well, hmm, eye drops. You might say we have them. You might say we don't. We do have the ingredients, though. If you take the ingredients to the doctor at the lake laboratory, he can make the drops for you. But you need to deliver them fresh. Can you make it before they spoil? Yeah. But I love how it gives you a frog and how the, it's glitching out because of the graphics card I have. Now I have to rush this. Kind of. In fact, do this. Her in sync with the musical, but whatever. I don't even care. Yeah, I'm just doing speedrunning tactics. But the reason... I. But now what we have to do is go down here. The reason, as I said, the reason I actually uh, brought a pony to Lost Woods or to the Kokiri Forest Legends is so that this is faster. I'm just going to ignore mid off for now, and we're going to quickly get lost and not become a Stalfos because we're awesome like that. 
feel. Now, go back down here. With a huge Deku Barber. There we go. Now, mount my trusty steed. I hope it actually takes time to clock for you. Um, when, while you're mounting the horse, well, I mean, I mean the horse is the horse stops moving all together. Like, together. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. Because we couldn't actually go underneath the ice because it's frozen over. And we can't actually under the pole yet, because if you see at the top where there's a big button, the green button, it's empty as well. Yeah. I'm just going to move that pole now. Now get down. Wait, what? Oh my god, I have to do this quickly. Quickly. I have to do this. Come on, these sun's going in my eyes. Thank you. I just thank you. Because the light is like gone. I think that was because they're in the future. Yeah. Back to the future! Yeah. But now, this is the Lakeside Laboratory. Yeah. As you should And, uh, oh, I thought it was like massive. You may notice the lake is kind of, well, it's kind of empty. Now there's this guy here. Hello there, son. I'm researching the process for making medicine by like, mixing lake highest water with various unusual compounds. Perhaps you've met with that old lady from the potion shop. She is like a student of mine. Ho, ho, ho. Well, I have. Little hag, but anyways, we'll show him the fog. Oh wow! I haven't seen an eyeball frog like this since Zora's domain falls over. <laughs> These eyeballs are so delicious. Tonight I will cook fried eyeballs for the first time in a long time. <laughs> what? That's great stuff. Please say thank you to King Zora. Hey, what? He's off from making Vigoron's eye drops. Oh, how disappointing. He should have said so in the first place. Here it is. This medicine doesn't have any preservatives in it, so it won't last long at this temperature. Run as fast as you can to Death Mountain. You're young. You can do it. Yeah, I think they... <laughs> you're trying to the eyeball fog for the world's finest eye drops. Hurry, take them to go big one before they go back. At least it gives you four minutes, so... I should say, it takes four minutes to spoil, so... Fastest man time ever, maybe? Do not need that now. Speed past here. And come on, don't have time to lose. And by the way, there's these things called warp songs, which are basically songs that when you play them, they'll warp you to a certain area. And there's one little warp here to Death Mountain Crater, but do not use it whatsoever. Because when I try to use it to try to speed run it through it, uh, through this thing, this part, I. It like. Kids, it apparently. Um, even though in real life it seems to only take a few seconds to teleport, um, it will take on the timer like three minutes, like uh, th almost four minutes. So you only have like three seconds left on the clock, and I'm like, what the hell? Seriously, that's not fair, Nintendo. <laughs> but yeah, it doesn't matter because we don't have any warp songs, anyways. So, anyways, we shall just rush over here. Almost said what it actually is, but uh, you can probably guess what it is because we gave that um, that bigger on the broken bigger on sword to big on. Oh, Okay, I'm just like speed running through this like a mouse. So there we go. Now, die. I'm probably gonna get hit by it. Oh no, I didn't get held by the ball, but actually. But. D dodge you, dodge you, dodge you. But, yeah. Let me actually get the hook shot out because, yeah, I'll need to get rid of those spies because they could be annoying as hell. Annoying as hell. But, yeah. Just gonna go up here. Do this. We have 1 minute 35 on the clock. Oh, no, close. Don't have any time to lose. Can't lose any time.
Holy crap, the lag. 19, oh, 20, 19 frames per second, or whatever. It doesn't matter, because that's what it normally is. Okay, there we go. So now... Die. Die. Thank you. <laughs> I wish we could get more time on this thing. Don't need items. Oh wait, I need to get rid of you. Quickly, 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 quickly. There we go. Don't need items. Don't need items. I need to get here quickly. I'm almost there, but the time is almost down as well. So this is a lot of pressure being put on me right now. So now go near. Now he's still squinting. And speak. I've been waiting for you with the ears of my eyes. Please say hello to King Zora. I've done that. Really? You brought the eye drops? I'm so relieved. I'm going to use them right now. Have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that. Whoa! This is stimulating. It's working great. Now I can get back to my blade business. My work is not very consistent. Though, so I'll give this to you so you won't forget. After a few days, please return. Wait, just wait patiently. We got a sword. You got a claim check for it. You can't wait for the sword to be completed. It'll take three days to... <laughs> Not yet. Hey, you. You are impatient. Oh, really? Well... Speak. I made this trade for claim check. That sword is my finest work. Hell yeah! You handed in the claim check and got the bigger one sword. This blade was forged by a master smith and won't break. I like how you still have the claim check, so. Yeah. I give this to you for a souvenir. But yeah. Now we have a pretty awesome sword. Hell yeah. Sadly its sheath is still looks the same as the normal sword, but Hell yeah. How's this look? For size. In fact, I look at the size of it when it comes to the the great spin attack. Hell yeah! Holy crap, the lag! Okay, I think actually going sideways makes it the better frame rate, so that's the cool thing. That's a cool tip. Is if you're playing on the N64 version or the whatever, or any, or if you're playing on a crappy computer. I'm not playing on an exactly crappy computer, but I mean, it's not the best computer or anything. But yeah, it lags quite a bit, but yeah. So there's that. This is a side quest done, so that'll be this episode done in all oh, year. It's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh also, I should mention, I forgot to mention. If you play Zelda's lullaby in front of a broken sign, well, this kind of freaks some people out, like me, boy. But, yeah. It's witchcraft! No, I'm just kidding. Ha ha! Three clean cuts. Hell yeah. Now I just need to go down here. <laughs> like I just like, almost roll into the thing. But yeah. Gonna go down here. And now that'll be the end of this episode. So next time we are most likely going to be doing more of the plots. So I'll see you then.